Dad, you got a minute? I've got a feeling it's more than a minute you're after. Yeah, you're talking about leaving for good and we can't even discuss it. It's been discussed, Robert, by me and Victoria. She's the one that's most affected by all of this and that's what I'm focusing Splitting on. Splitting up the family affects all of us. And Victoria, she's massively vulnerable right now. That doesn't make running away the right decision for her. And tell me, what kind of magic wand have you got that'll make that lad go away? I haven't. Just like I haven't got a right to ask you to stay. But I wish you would. I can't imagine my life without you around, without either of you. I'm not abandoning you, sweetheart. But our hand's been forced. And I'm damned if I'm going to let that girl suffer a moment longer. Rodney, can I, uh, ask you advice on something? Well, I can see from your discomfort that you mean a woman advice. Hey. I don't suppose what I said before is that time sinking. Like I explained, this isn't personal love. Oh, so it's not about Benice then, or your grandkids, because we all need you, Diane. Oh, don't make me feel guilty, please. Why? Because you're worried what I'm saying might get it through to you. But leaving your whole family behind, it's, it's a massive mistake. Admit it. We've been over this. I wouldn't have chosen to start again somewhere new at my age, but I don't feel like I've got much choice. I'm going to get a drink. 